I wasn't going to make a face mask pattern, but now that there's more information available, I'm confident that most people know that a homemade mask will not protect you from the virus, but they do have some potential benefits. We've all seen the news stories commending volunteers for churning out masks from their garages, because the homemade masks can decrease how far the water droplets from your mouth and nose travel, reducing your risk of spreading the virus to others. They can prolong the use of real masks when used as a barrier, keeping the real mask cleaner for longer, and then you, as a regular person, if you choose to use a homemade mask, that frees up a better mask for carers and patients. So of course, keep washing your hands, social distancing, and staying home as much as possible. But if you also want to knit a mask and learn how to cast stitches onto a hair tie and brush up on make one increases and the three needle bind off, I'm happy to share this free pattern with you. So grab your copy of the pattern linked down below and let's get started. For this pattern, you'll need less than 100 yards of a Category 4 worsted weight yarn like Paint Box Yarns Simply Aran. You'll also need a set of 3.5mm knitting needles. An additional needle in the same size is helpful for this pattern for the 3 needle bind off, but if you don't have 3 needles in the exact same size, you'll need a needle in the next closest size for the bind off. You'll also need two thick hair elastics, the stretchier the better, and two stitch markers to mark the increases. We're going to start the pattern by casting stitches directly onto this hair tie. To do this, you're going to make a slip knot, and then insert your needle through the center of the hair elastic and place the slip knot on your needle. Then you can draw the slip knot through the hair tie, and that will be your first stitch. Wrap your yarn around your needle, and then insert the needle back through the hair elastic to pick up a stitch. Again, wrap your needle, insert it back through the hair elastic, and pick up a stitch. You'll do this a total of 19 times, so you will have 19 sets of yarn overs and picked up stitches. You can see my slip knot over at the end here, and all of the yarn overs and picked up stitches are on my needle. We'll start with a setup row. When you turn to begin knitting the setup row, you'll see your working yarn coming out of the hair tie like this. Just move that to the back. And now you're going to knit that last stitch you picked up and the yarn over next to it together. Insert your needle into both the yarn over and the picked up stitch and knit the two together. Continue knit two together for the rest of the setup row. And when you get to the very end, go ahead and knit your slip knot as well. So now you should have a total of 20 stitches on your needle. And for rows one through five, you're going to knit all stitches. We're going to place our markers while we knit row six, which is a right side row. You're going to knit nine stitches. Place your marker. Knit two. Place the other marker and knit to the end of the row. Row seven is a wrong side row and you'll start by knitting three stitches to maintain a garter stitch border. Then you will purl up to your first marker Slip the marker, purl two, slip the next marker, and purl to the last three stitches.
Then knit the last three stitches to maintain that garter stitch border. Row eight is an increase row. You will knit up to that first marker. And now we'll do a make one right increase. To make one right, find that bar between two stitches, pick it up from front to back, and place it on your needle. Then knit into that front wrap on your left hand needle to make one right. Slip marker, knit two, slip marker, and make one left. We'll do the opposite. Pick the bar up from back to front, place it on your left hand needle, and knit into the wrap on the back of your needle to make one left. Then knit to the end of the row. And don't forget to grab your downloadable, printable version of the pattern that'll be linked down below. So now you continue row seven and row eight rows, working a wrong side row followed by an increase row, until you have a total of 28 stitches on your needles. Then you can remove your markers and continue working in stock and knit, knitting on the right side and purling on the wrong side, while knitting the first three and last three stitches to maintain your garter stitch border until your entire piece measures four inches, or 10 centimeters. And repeat the whole process again to make another one. When you have two identical pieces, both attached to their little hair ties, slap them together right sides facing, so the wrong side will be facing out. And now we can do the three needle bind off to seam them both together. To do the three needle bind off, go ahead and grab your third needle and with your live stitches lined up one for one, insert your right hand needle into the first stitch on the first needle, then insert it into the first stitch on the second needle and knit those two stitches together. Again, knit into the second stitch on the first needle and the second stitch on the second needle, and knit those two stitches together. Then you can pass your first stitch on your right hand needle over the second stitch. And that's the basics of the three needle bind off. You'll knit the two live stitches on your needles together, and then pass the first stitch over the second stitch to bind off. And when you've bound off all of your stitches, you can cut your yarn, fasten off, weave in your ends, and you've got yourself a handy dandy face mask. Thank you so much for checking out this pattern. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to wash your hands, stay home, stay safe, and don't forget to check out the corresponding blog post to this pattern that I'll have linked down below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!